Hey, grown folks, Donna Smith again on the weekend with another grown folk topic of discussion. You know, in my forum on Facebook uh, during the week, we had a really, really great, great conversation. I thought it was cute, you know. It was in regards to when you are in a relationship and, you know, you have that friend. You know, you have that friend who calls a lot. And so sometimes you're not home when they call and you're living with your boo or you're married, you know, one or the other. And this person calls a lot and you're not home. They know that you're usually not there, but they call anyway. You know, they love to give, you know, give that, that little conversational thing going on. But they call and your maid answer the phone, hello. Oh, is Tammy there? No, she's not here right now. Oh, okay, well, how you doing? How you been? How's the kids? Are you still on that job? You know, I heard you guys were having problems, but are they worked out now? I mean, they just go the whole nine yards, you guys. I mean, I'm, and that was an example of a female. But, you know, you got the man who calls, too, and he wants to hold a conversation with her. How you doing, darling? Is Jim there? No, Jim's not home. Oh, okay. So what's been going on? Man, last time I saw you show, it was looking good. Girl, he must be taking care of you and throwing it down. And then they go on and on. So what's the boundaries, grown folks? When a person calls your home and you are not there and your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, answers the phone and you're not there, I mean, should they hold personable conversations? I mean, how you doing? What's up? How's the kids? How's the dog? How's the fish? How's the cat? You know, I mean, should they or should they just say, all right, just, you know, let them know I call. Take care later. I mean, what should they do? What are the guidelines? And then you have those who are really cool with that friend too. And when they call and there there is problems in the relationship, they want to go on and start talking. This is the person that's being called. They want to go on and start talking about all their stuff. Yeah, no, he ain't here. And he need to stay gone because... um. I'm sick of him anyway. He ain't handling his business and doing what he's supposed to. And next thing you know, y'all in a conversation. Now, you're both wrong, right? You know, or you tell me, is that wrong? I mean, should it be okay for friends to call and have a conversation? If you guys are all cool, can they share? You know, for a minute because that person's not there and they may have that little private time to talk and, you know, you bait on into it. Are you wrong? Are you really wrong for that? What should you do with those guidelines? I mean, when somebody answers that phone and you're asking for somebody. Let's go a step further. What about you knock on the door of that friend of yours house and your friend is not home? Their husband or wife or boyfriend or girlfriend answers the door, say they should be home shortly. You know, why don't you come on in and have a seat? Next thing you know, they come on in, they have a seat, and you holding conversations, and, you know, everything's all fuzzy. I mean, should you have to let them in your house when your man or your woman or husband or wife was not home? And even if your husband or wife gave you instructions to do so, saying it was okay, is it really okay to let a friend of your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend come on in when it's just you home alone? I mean, hmm, not that there's not any trust in your union, but, you know, folks are human. And sometimes, you know, you, you have those friends that's somewhat attracted to who you're with, but they hold that in and hold that back because they don't want to mess up your friendship. So they never let it be known. So to put them in a situation where they're all snuggled up cozy waiting on you to get home, Regardless, that's kind of mm, that's kind of risque, don't you think? I want you guys to think about it. 
Get back with me. Share it with the grown folks. Let me know what you think about a situation like that. Should we hold a conversation on the telephone when our mate is not home with their friend? And should we open that door and let them come in and relax until our mate gets home? I want to know what you think.